Hello everyone. It's now the afternoon of Thursday, the 4th of June 2020. After two days of rain, I think, I hope, the floodwaters have now reached their peak. Certainly on those uh, bridge supports, there is definitely a, a high watermark, which I hope means the water's now finally starting to recede go back down. Since the last time I was here, this spot, the water must have risen a good half a meter since uh, Tuesday, I th uh, sorry, Sunday when I was here last. So, yes. It's uh, definitely the highest I've ever seen it here now. It's a lot nicer I think it's been a lot better this this time round because they managed to build the flood defences uh, nice and early. And while we've still had to worry about it, it hasn't been the uh, catastrophe that uh, it would have been if they'd uh, waited until the flood water started before they tried to do anything about it. So for that, I am eternally grateful. Uh, I'm going to see about heading closer to home now. See if I can take some more videos. Now I am behind the uh, the health centre, and uh, despite the fact that all the pumps still seem to be running from that drain and from that area over there, uh, yeah. It looks like the water's coming down here as well. Well, it's certainly no higher than it was yesterday, I don't think. Um, and also as well, I think they might have made parts of the, uh, the flood defences itself higher. Certainly looks like they've done some more uh, building work up here anyway. There we go. That's definitely the sign I was looking for. There's two very clear tidal lines of uh, pine needles and small wood debris there now on that gravel path. So the water is definitely going down. Probably will be another two days before it'll get uh, to anything approaching normal. And it's meant to be uh, quite wet and windy tonight and tomorrow morning. But uh, I can't see that being too much of a problem now. Okay then folks, there we go. I'll upload these this evening. And this weekend hopefully I'll come back and make the final, uh, final film.